everybody, it's Franny, and this is episode nine with the Beck Spider. Today, we get to actually leave the garage. We're gonna do a shakedown run. Shakedown runs can be a little bit nerve-wracking actually. They can be kind of stressful. I've got a big huge tool kit here. This is actually Ava's tool kit. Tons and tons of stuff in there just in case we run into problems. Heidi is going to be following me. Now this may seem a bit like overkill, but this isn't my car. So I want to be very, very careful with it. I'm going to be listening. We have fire extinguishers and such, safety equipment. Um, there's, I have glasses, I have all sorts of stuff inside here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go out for a quick run, nothing crazy, nothing scary. And we're gonna pull over halfway through and we're gonna double check everything in the back and make sure that we're not leaking, that everything's fine back there. And maybe do even a little bit of carburetor tuning would be nice to, once the engine's good and hot. And then we're just going to come back and once again, we're gonna check again for leaks. So wish me luck. Here we go. 
let's go ahead and get out and check to see how everything's doing back there. Okay, just a quick stop to just check on things. We've noticed one thing immediately is that this right extractor here has, you can see a little bit of oil down in there, a little shiny bit down there. It was smoking ever so slightly, so I think it's probably going to be the valve cover gasket, so we'll have to readdress that. So we're looking at everything else. Did anything come loose wiring-wise? Do our linkages still look good? Uh, any fuel drips? Smelling, smelling, smelling. Do we smell anything? So I don't smell anything and everything's looking really, really good here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine back up again and maybe take a look at the, the, um, the, the tuning a little bit more on the carburetors because it was popping quite a bit. Now, these straight pipes will do that, which is fine, but I just want it, since we got it nice and warm, we'll go ahead and, and quick check the tune again. for the engine to just slow down just ever so slightly. Then we just back it up about a quarter turn or so. Quite a bit with not much change. There it is. Open that back up a little bit. Okay, that one was too rich. There we go. We'll open that up another quarter turn. Well, the idle sounds fine to me as well, so I'm not going to fuss with that. We did find one of our screws a little bit out of adjustment. That's great. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and continue with our run, bring the car back, put it in the garage. We want to address the little bit of oil leak on the right side. Uh, and uh, so far, so good. Starts right up. Boy, the gear shift is pretty ambiguous. Second, there's first. Pretty hard to find.
let's see what we've got here. There's the oil on the extractor, so that's not too good. I think, look at this, it's that same intake that was giving us trouble before, so that push rod tube is still leaking a little bit. We'll have to address that. But there's oil on the other side as well here. You can see it kind of dripping down there as well. I think that's probably gonna be from the valve cover gasket, so I'll go ahead and address that. Let's look at our other side. Oh boy, the other side looks great. Look at that, all four look good and dry. This is our problem child push rod tube here. Can you see it? It's, it's ever so slightly jiggling around. Can you see it actually moving? That's because the push rod itself is literally contacting the inside of the push rod tube. So that's something we're gonna have to fix. Well, pretty successful shakedown day, all in all, I would say. Car ran great. We had no fuel problems, which is super awesome. I was, that was the thing I was most worried about. We did have three issues. Uh, first of all, the shifter wasn't really very good at all. It was very difficult to get in, into gear and almost impossible to get into first sometimes. That was a combination of the shifter being out of adjustment. So you pretty much just put it in a gear, loosen that plate, move it around and tighten it back down. And then the clutch needed to be adjusted as well. So I went ahead and did that and now it shifts right like it should. It shifts beautifully actually, it goes right into gears and clutch works great. So that's awesome. Then the other two problems we had were oil leaks. We had an oil leak on the right valve cover. So I had to take that completely apart, take that valve cover gasket out of there and clean the inside of the valve cover really, really well and I even used a new gasket and completely greased the new one up and got it very, very clean, put it all back on and that did it. So it's not leaking. And our last problem was that intake push rod tube on cylinder number four. Funny problem, it's the push rod that's actually causing the problem. It's actually banging up against, it's just hitting it going bang, 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 bang and hitting the the actual push rod tube, which causes it to sort of dislocate itself a little bit and it causes it to weep at the bottom. So what I did was I tried moving over that particular rocker arm just a tad. I kind of swapped the, the uh, little shims around a little bit just to move it over, but any more and it would have started to bind. So I did what I could there. There's really not much more we can do there. And then I did pull the push rod tube out and you could see where the push rod had been, you know, just kind of grinding away on the inside of it. So I thought, well, okay, I'll help it along. And I ground it out a little bit more on the inside just to give it a little more clearance. I just didn't want that metal getting too thin, but I did grind it down a, a little bit, reinstalled the push rod tubes and put it all back together. Oh, and remember that ticking sound that's on the right side of the car? Well, that was actually this valve. It was just way out of adjustment. So I was able to fix that as well. After a long run out and about, I went out and got gas because the car actually needed gas. There's the teeniest little little wetness underneath it now. So it's obviously still, you can feel it. You put your hand on it, you can feel it going tick, 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 tick. You can feel it kind of hitting it. But uh, I think that's about the best we can do. I'm not sure what else to do at that point. So, it, so I think the car's running great. I'm not really going to be fussing with the car much more. I think it's time to actually shoot the episode I was hoping to shoot when the, uh, when the car arrived. And that's gonna be a compare between this car and our little 356 Cabriolet. That'll be super fun. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this series as well. I'll try to get more cars and do more stuff like this. This is just really fun. It kind of fell out of nowhere and it sounds like it's been a lot of fun for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you got questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get right to them. Thanks again, as always. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, safe travels. Bye.